In a nutshell, so far, King Noah fled with his people into the wilderness because of the Lamanite invasion. The Lamanites caught up with them and began slaying King Noah's people. King Noah then commanded his men to abandon their wives and children, which many did. So, they, along with King Noah, continued fleeing. The rest who stayed behind because they would not abandon their families caused their fair daughters to soften the hearts of the Lamanites to spare them. The Lamanites did have compassion upon them and did not slay them, but brought them all captive back to the land of Nephi on the condition that they paid half of all they possessed, including their gold, silver, and all their property, and also that they would pay such a tribute from year to year. So now they're paying a 50% tax instead of the 20% tax imposed upon them by King Noah. But the Lamanites also wanted King Noah delivered up to them, but he was hiding in the wilderness with his men. Gideon secretly went searching for King Noah and caught up with his men. Many wanted to return to find out what happened to their wives and children, but King Noah commanded them not to return. That was the last straw for them, and they caused him to suffer death by fire. King Noah's priests, however, fled before Gideon's men could catch them. So Noah's son Limhi reigned in his father's place, and there was peace in the land despite the heavy tax burden placed upon them by the Lamanites. The priests who were in the wilderness happened to find some Lamanite daughters, and they kidnapped them, which angered the king of the Lamanites, who then went to war against Limhi and his people. After they all figured out that it wasn't Limhi's people, but rather those rogue priests, the Lamanites were pacified, and everyone went home. After a while, though, many Lamanites began to beat up the Nephites, but did not kill them because of the truce the Nephites had with their king. But the Lamanites put heavy burdens on them like dumb animals, and Abinadi's words had all come true. Because these people would not repent, but in their pride rebelled against Abinadi, their burdens were very sore, and they were humbled to the dust. So let's read Mosiah chapter 21, verses 13 through 15. And they did humble themselves even to the dust, subjecting themselves to the yoke of bondage, submitting themselves to be smitten and to be driven to and fro and burdened according to the desires of their enemies. And they did humble themselves even in the depths of humility, and they did cry mightily to God, yea, even all the day long did they cry unto their God that he would deliver them out of their afflictions. And now the Lord was slow to hear their cries because of their iniquities. Nevertheless, the Lord did hear their cries and began to soften the hearts of the Lamanites, that they began to ease their burdens. Yet the Lord did not see fit to deliver them out of bondage. So, because Limhi's people did not repent like Alma and his converts did earlier, God caused them to be humbled to the dust. This is about as bad as things can get with a society who rejects God and his protection, but instead they trust in their own arm of flesh. In other words, they reaped what they sowed. This is a good lesson for those of us who feel like the Lord is slow to hear our prayers, a good time to take inventory of our own personal lives.